when you have your own blockchain, all the value that is occurred uh, would go to your own protocol. So when you have your own chain, you are able to have your own decentralized governance and you're able to have the option to customize it, you know, to better manage everything. So this is why we think having your own chain is important. Hello, wonderful people. We're in Dubai this week meeting with the most amazing entrepreneurs in the blockchain and crypto space. And today I'm absolutely delighted to welcome Aaron co-founder and head of marketing for Octopus Protocol. And I look forward to learning what Octopus Protocol is all about. Thanks for having me here. I'll be happy to share. So tell me about the Octopus Network, but in terms that I would understand. Don't go too technical. Tell me what, an Octop what is Octopus Network. Octopus Network is a multi-chain interoperable network that is built on near protocol. Essentially what it is, is we take the capabilities of Polkadot and we apply it to NEAR protocol. And we make NEAR protocol as our hub for DeFi and all the DeFi, um, non-DeFi application chains will be able to connect to NEAR protocol and using our IBC palette, connect to Cosmos and Polkadot and other chains in the future. And why should I care about this? Why this should interest me? You know, what's the need are you trying to fulfill or what problem are you trying to solve? The problem that we're solving is uh, in terms of a scalability of the entire ecosystem. As you know from before, um, let's say two to three years back, it would take a lot of resource to build your own blockchain, uh, possibly up to two years with a team of 40 to 50 people. Now, because of the innovation that Polkadot and Cosmos has brought, you can do this in one week. So uh, the other innovation is, of course, uh, in the interchain communication protocol. Uh, as you know, there's a difference between cross-chain, where there's a lot of bridges being built, and at the same time, there's a lot of bridges being compromised because it is inherently a difficult challenge to, to build a bridge. So if we follow the IBC protocol, where uh, Octopus Network has received a grant from Cosmos to build this uh, IBC pallet, uh, which means that we're using Cosmos technology and uh, applying it to communication not only within the Cosmos ecosystem but also to the Polkadot ecosystem. So when uh, you have an Octopus app chain, you can use our technology which is ready, which is proven uh, and safe and apply it to connect to other blockchains. So it's a two major bottlenecks that uh, we're solving. But there's also the third bottleneck which we attempt to solve. And that is actually the cost of having a parachain on, let's say, Polkadot. Uh, as we have seen from some of the crowd loans, you need to lock literally hundreds of millions of dollars. And we believe that not every project would be able to uh, raise this kind of uh, collateral. And we believe that uh, barrier of entry should be lowered. And obviously there is another third related uh, bottleneck that we're removing. And that is in terms of the quantity of pair chains on uh, Polkadot and Kusama, which is both limited to 100. So uh, we don't think the Web3 revolution would happen with only 200 chains. We think that we're looking at a world where there potentially could be millions of blockchains. So we removed that uh, bottleneck um, you know, through being uh, constructed on near protocol. Because when we are constructed on near protocol, our scalability goes in line with near sharding capability, which is at the moment uh, has unlimited potential. Well, that's very interesting. You were also telling me um, that it takes a week to roll out your own blockchain, whereas a couple of years ago you needed 50 developers and millions of dollars to build your blockchain. So tell me about this and then answer a question, why would I want my own blockchain? Yeah, sure. So. Um, Having um, your own blockchain uh, benefits applications in the sense that when you have your own blockchain, all the value that is occurred uh, would go to your own protocol. So when you build as a decentralized application on Ethereum, for example, uh, every, for every transaction you pay a gas fee, which is for the computational and you know, transaction uh, activity. But when you pay this gas fee, your value is being depleted from your network onto the Ethereum base layer. This is why Ethereum, again, is worth a lot and along with a lot of you know, fantastic layer ones that's out there uh, because they capture the value from the application. So uh, that could be one reason. 
uh, other very uh, compelling reasons for you know applications to look at having their own blockchain is uh, uh, because you know simply because um, there is a lot of uh, congestion problem on uh, BSC and Polygon, which is already you know one step away from Ethereum, and there's also the uh, the, the problem of uh, very limited bandwidth and very high cost. Uh, we believe that an application should not be punished for being successful, for growing and you know attracting more people to Web3. Uh, so when they choose to have their own blockchain, um, it comes at a very low cost. It can be deployed in minimal time, and um, you know not only that, uh, it, it comes with a hundred TPS versus you know let's say fifteen TPS transaction per second on Ethereum. So you're getting multiple amounts of bandwidth and it's dedicated only for you, only for your own application. You don't have to share this bandwidth with anyone. You do not have to compete with anyone for this particular bandwidth. And you're capturing all the value. Now, there's another point which is important, which is uh, governance. So you've heard of DAO, on, uh, for example, on Ethereum, and there's uh, DAOs being uh, you know, rolled out in the Polkadot world. Now, the difference between these two is that uh, the DAO in the Polkadot world is a lot more powerful. You know, it is uh, connected to the, it is essential to the operation of the entire chain, and it's, uh, it's so much more powerful. So when it comes to the Web3 revolution that we all talk about, you know, we're talking about some, you know, very, you know, strong trends like, uh, you know, GameFi or SocialFi or, you know, for example, uh, even NFTs, uh, marketplaces, metaverses. Uh, at the very core of it is decentralized governance. So when you have your own chain, you are able to have your own decentralized governance and you're able to have the option to customize it, you know, to better manage everything. So this is why we think having your own chain is important. And uh, this is the best time to do it because it makes sense uh, because of the good work that Polkadot has done, Cosmos has done, Near Protocol has done. Our project has been very fortunate to, you know, be able to leverage on these uh, technologies, you know, and, you know, using our own way, we're removing all these bottlenecks. Uh, but in the end, we're just part of the bigger picture, you know. We are still contributing to, to the entire Web3. So you touched base on Gamify and Metaverse. Um, it is, um, what's unique to those projects is that they have a large community making tiny, tiny transactions all the time. So how can Octopus Network help there, uh, bringing the cost down, bringing uh, you know, the speed of transactions up? How can you help? Yeah, so Substrate is a rapid uh, blockchain development framework that's invented by Polkadot. And out of the box, meaning that you know, just a standard you know, featured uh, Substrate chain would already have 100 uh, TPS. This is the fantastic part. Yeah, and not only that, um, you also have the option to choose to have zero transaction fee is fantastic because uh, for some models, uh, they need the zero transaction fee in order for the entire model to work. So for example, last night at the Dubai meetup, you know, I've met uh, with an application uh, person and he says, that, yes, this is my main problem. In fact, my project is not doable if we do not have zero fees. So we enable a lot of projects that are borderline feasible uh, to be feasible. Thank you, that was so great. I learned so much today and I'm sure all of our listeners learned a lot today as well. And I look forward to seeing you at the AIBC Summit in Dubai, here, right here in Dubai from 20th to 23rd of March. And we will include all the information about the Octopus Protocol in the video below because I want all of the entrepreneurs, especially those in the gaming and metaverse and the NFT industry to learn how Octopus network can help scale their projects. Thank you so much. That was very interesting and I really value your time.